Well, my number two. It's it's funny that you mention Brainiac because mm -hmm. it is Brainiac. Okay. Brainiac, Brainiac is one of my favorite villains because all this man really wants to do is learn about this stuff. And he does And kill it. The, 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 he's the ultimate hoarder. Yeah, no, he... It, the, but he, but he's hoarding dope shit. Mm. He's just hoarding memories of, die, of, pl of dead places. He, yeah. Uh, he's in a story and gone crazy. <laughs> and, and guess where he goes after? Krypton. He doesn't... I mean, yes, you would go after an advanced alien species capable of <laughs> space travel. That are all Supermans! <laughs> Not necessarily. The part that makes them Superman is the Yellow Sun. Yeah, that is true. Lord! I know, I, 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 I but still, Bra but Brain and Brain Egg also has a very amazing comic off of Superman even. And, <laughs> like, I just love, I just love Brain Egg because he is, one, a supercomputer beyond belief. True. Two, he, he's on, he's not on, he's not events-wise the same level as Ultron, but he is still, like, that version's kind of Ultron in a sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, but fair. But he's, he's, he is that, he is that universe's Ultron, and, and he, also, he's, he's not, like, insane at times. He's True. just like, I'm going to do what I need to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to kill you. I'm, I'm like I'm going to do what. I'm, and if you if you don't resist, I'll just take your planet and kill you all, and you guys can be good. Exactly. Like I'm trying to be nice about it. <laughs> My me being nice is I'll just kill you all. Like and and <laughs> and the and also I don't think they can do a movie off of him. Like because it's because they've not built Superman up to deal with something like that. Seriously, like you can't just snap this guy's neck and he's dead. <laughs> that was so stupid. He well, could just flew up. <laughs> welcome to the Snyderverse. <laughs> but no, like, but yeah, like, like, I know Ultron had his own movie and everybody. Yeah, but Brainiac is a tough one because because that's a that's a Justice League level villain. And, yeah, and not not the current Justice League, but a Justice yeah. League level villain. <laughs> just Imagine if Lex Luthor was getting his group together and he got Deathstroke and he got Cheetah and and he got his group together and she's like, oh, and also Brainiac. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, Pippin. Hold on, real quick. How is Brainiac not the leader of this first and foremost? <laughs> he, he he's absorbed knowledge from thousands, like, if not millions, of planets. Like did, like did you just? He is the smartest man or being. <laughs> Here, <laughs> like, like, no, no, and by here, I don't just mean Earth. <laughs> this universe, <laughs> like, this is the smartest <laughs> thing here. Like, why is he not leading? Like, like, this man is Sun Tzu a million. <laughs> <laughs> like he, like he, like he, he, he. This, this nigga, this, this nigga's in the bag. Like he's like a henchman. Like, and you're leading this shit, Lex Luthor? Fuck out of here. Even like, even though like that 12th uh, level intellect thing is ridiculous, yes. Lex, Lex Luthor? C come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's definitely <laughs> like, I would be so mad. I would just like, be like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, so, hold on. You telling me. You telling me you got Brainiac? Oh, no, no. Yo, so Lex Luthor, so you're the smartest person on this planet. Yes. I've absorbed the knowledge from the smartest people on the last galaxy's planets. Mm. Galaxies! I absorbed that. You know, you know what, you know what, watch. I know, I listed everything you're going to do for the next week because I just know. <laughs> I analyzed your pattern from the psychologist of Narondar. No, and, then, and he says all that, but I'm not. But I am, but I'm not the leader. Here's yeah, Superman's plan to a T. Because of some, some different law I learned from a different language on a dead planet in the solar system 30, 30 galaxies away from you. But you lead your little... You got this, you, though. You got it, bro. But you, you got it. You got the plan. Dumbass, the fun. <laughs> Watch when they, when they least expect them. Take this, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is my planet now. <laughs> it's already his planet. They just don't know. <laughs> Like Brainiac is just, just loading us the planet right now. <laughs> you got the shit on own, man. Yo, I, I'm, give, yo, I'm giving y'all 20 years to solve comedy change. <laughs> or else I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm, giving, I'm giving you 10 years to solve racism. Try it. Try it. I know you're not going to do it. <laughs> nah. You know what? The 30 galaxies over, they were murdering the race. I killed them. <laughs> y'all next. <laughs> 
I do? Why did my brain have turned to Goldberg? <laughs> Okay. Yo. Okay. Okay. Before we get to number one, uh, what is it? One honorable mention. Well, honorable mention. I gotta give it. I don't know why I'm just so siding with DC villains right now, but I gotta go with. DC has a lot of good villains. Reverse Flash. Mm. This man is gotta be the pettiest of all villains. It's not. It, you don't love my man. You don't. You don't love DC villains. You love pettiness. Yes, I love the petty. The fact that. How this petty was the reason they started hating this, this person? This man technically started the new 52. Yeah, he got, no, but this man got dissed and was like, hey, so what's something bad that happened in this man's life? Hmm. Oh, his mom died when he was a kid. Guess I'm going back to kill his mom. Oh, look, look, the Flash Museum has his whole biography. Oh, in this third grade, he wet his pants. I guess I'll go back in time and make him wet his pants. <laughs> Yo, at the age of 13, he got his lunch money stolen. Guess I'm getting $3. <laughs> Wait, wasn't wasn't Flash like uh, on that same family of poor or? Yeah. <laughs> so he still got he still got Robert. The thing is, like, he can never. If people no, 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 his no. money just disappeared. No, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, he didn't have three dollars. He had that uh, uh reduced lunch. <laughs> <laughs> the bread and cheese. <laughs> it's just a sandwich with mayo and cheese on it. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Only thing, only thing hot in that plate is the milk. <laughs> nah, he's funny. <laughs> yo, I don't reduce, I don't reduce lunch, bro. Reduce so, lunch. so you are gone. Right? You yo, yo, gone? With, yo, on Wednesdays it's mystery meat. <laughs> so no, but no, but so reverse flash just it's went and stole. No, so reverse, so reverse flash went in pat, went in the past and stole his man's ticket for reduced lunch. <laughs> Obama lunch. <laughs> the Obama lunch before Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just goes back and time. Do that ticket. <laughs> no, no, no. no no he no no. What happens is uh little <laughs> little Barry Allen is just handing his ticket and just disappears in his hand. You see a blink of red and dis. Blink of yellow. Blink of yellow. Well, blink yellow and red. Sorry. Yeah. Blink of yellow and red. Just he doesn't have a ticket anymore. Do love say he's like? I'm sorry, you got a ticket, but. But I haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Look at from all our just I want some more. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse slide goes back in time. Damn, I kinda feel bad for this one. <laughs> nah, he was just in there, yeah. Starve little kid. <laughs> no, for yo, for dissing me in the for dissing me in the future. <laughs> this is for 70 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, but okay. Alright, who's your honorable mention? My, god, is this honorable mention? <laughs> honorable, an honorable mention from me is, as you know, I love Spider-Man. Good so, man. And he, he's one, he's literally like my the, favorite. He's the most relatable hero of all not time. Only my, not only the most relatable, but he's literally like my favorite superhero. Like, but um, <laughs> Spider-Man had the most realist problems. Seriously. But, no, but... I my, can bet for some car. <laughs> Can I pay my rent though? <laughs> but my but my honorable mention is the Green Goblin. Fair. Because what is what is what is worse than your best friend's dad hating you so much, hating you so so much that he becomes a super villain off of it <laughs> just to whoop just to beat you, just to whoop your ass. <laughs> Like, injects himself with so like, many drugs like, just to be strong like, to beat like, you. Like, if, if, if my friend's parent didn't like me, they would just be like, oh, hey, stop hanging out with him. Please stop hanging out with my child. I am going to murder you. That That's Green Goblin. While dressed up <laughs> in my best party city outfit. <laughs> that's Green Goblin for you. <laughs> and Joker treatment. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to make your life a living hell. And I'm <laughs> just like... And then, and then when he dies, it's just like, oh, Spider-Man killed. And then, and then you have, and then you have your best friend on you. It's like Spider-Man killed my dad. You know, he really should fire his butler. <laughs> Why didn't you tell him that a little bit earlier? <laughs> that's that's oh my God. that that's that's Batman. Like if Batman was just a dick. True. <laughs> but yo, but okay, but okay. So now that honorable mentions are out of the way, Mr. Connie. Who is your number one comic villain? 
if you guys know, I, my, all my picks have been based on pettiness as well as the abilities of the character. But for the sheer pettiness of him and because I understand his ideology, I don't necessarily like him. But I understand it. My best villain is going back to DC. Well, favorite villain. But favorite villain. Going back to DC. The Joker. I know, I know it's cliched as all heck, but I still love the Joker because of his ideology. I like the whole chaos to Batman's order principle. I like the how between the two of them you can actually see that at any choice at any time they could have become the other. Batman could have went insane, Joker could have went insane. And even better, yo, there was a video I was watching, I think on the Imaginary Access, about the Joker knowing he's a comic book villain. And that he knows about everything that's going on. That's why he's able to turn pages. That's why he's able to talk to the audience. He knows he's in a comic book. And he's just playing along with it. Because he knows that none of this matters. So, I mean, with the potential realization of that. Because even in one of the comics, he actually just speaks directly to the audience and says, Are you guys in my head? Mm, yeah, no. But so, so, speaking of, who is your favorite Joker? My favorite Joker, in, wait, in the movies or in the comics? On screen. And on screen, I'm always going to be with Heath Ledger. He, Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger was the GOAT to me. Besides, of course, Mark Hamill. I was going to say. The yeah. animated series. I thought we were talking about live action. No, I'm talking about any, any, any Oh, Mark Joker? Hamill. Okay. That's way too easy. Yeah. That's way too easy. Mark Hamill defined the character for me growing up. No, that's not same here. His same here. laugh inspired me. My favorite is Cesar Romero. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Batman 66 Joker. <laughs> I was about to legit leave. No, no. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is my favorite Joker too. Yeah, I got. Even it. though Heath Ledger is excellent as the Joker. And also and with the with the evolution of the character, going from this legit clown yeah. to psychotic supervillain who potentially can even be Superman. But my problem with the Joker is that he, he's great in everything. But now he's literally like a hot topic thing. He's the main. He's the main. He's the mainstream at the moment. And 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 it's just like and it's just like sometimes I feel like they lose touch of that. Yeah. And I can I can vibe with that. And it's and it, like, I mean, a great example is Suicide Squad. Okay, the movie or the concept. The movie. We don't. I'm not. Uh, we we don't talk about okay. that, sir. It, that that Joker sucks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Like Jared Leto's a great actor, I know, but, but he oh, he yeah. is not the Joker. He no. is not supposed to be the clown prince of crime. Even though he could have done that, he could have. He had some good. But he, why did they make him have a grill? Why they make the Joker him? has never had a grill. This, this dude, this dude grew up in Bronx, New York. No, he grew up in Florida. This man grew up in, and y'all can't holler because I'm from there. He grew up in West Palm Beach. <laughs> this man grew up, that, you see that grill, that wild, those wild eyes? Come on, there are some people that I know in West Palm Beach right now that stand on the corner and look exactly like that. All they need is green hair dye. <laughs> that's terrible. But, but no, that's why. Check on 45th but, Street. Y'all know I ain't lying. But that's why I can't rock with Joker so much. Because he's just so on top. I, I'll vibe with that. He's, he's, he's so he's he's the topic right now. Yeah, and and that's but he's, a, a, he's that's, the, top a, that's the same with Deadpool for me, honestly. True. Like I love them both, but at the same time, it's just like shout out to Daniel Wade, one of the best uh, Deadpool writers. Yes, yes, one of the best Deadpool writers, and 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 David Leach for making Deadpool cool. accessible. Yeah, and, and even with an R rating, but yeah, no, it, it, it just becomes so popular. Just like oh. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite feeling is Joker. Shut up! At least I have reasons. I got receipts for mine. No, no, you have reasons for yours. People just like, oh my god, Jared. Thanks so much. Shut up. Oh god. But let's go with yours, bro. Okay. Who is your number one? This is this is kind of controversial. Oh god. This is kind of controversial. Please don't, please don't say something stupid. My, and this guy, this guy. Oh boy. I feel like you're gonna, pay, I feel like you almost served to make me upset with this. Who's this man? This man. I'm going to the DC universe. Oh god. And I'm going with Calendar Man! <laughs> <laughs> I almost I almost went I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> mm. Get back in here. 
It's really not Calendar Man. 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 It's really not Calendar Man, dude. It's really not Calendar Man. Oh, he doesn't know. Calendar Man. It's not Calendar. It's not Calendar Man. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's not Calendar Man. And on this and on this day. Man. Did you know on July 14th, <laughs> 1956, this is how it happened. And somehow he was My, <laughs> And on July, and on uh, November 3rd, 1856, John Washington took a shit. <laughs> so, that's a notable thing in history. <laughs> oh my god, but no. No, in all honesty, in all honesty, my favorite comic book villain, and this is still controversial, is the Daredevil villain uh, he started in Daredevil and became kind of more like is the Purple Man, aka Kilgrave. Just because he's really dumb, OP though. But OP to the point where he can make anybody do anything he wants. He anything he wants, and he, here's the worst part about it: it's not just hypnosis or telekinesis. It's you physically want to do that you like you like the, in Jessica in the first season of Jessica Jones purple man was the villain I know I, and uh... and and he influenced Luke Cage so much where he wanted to kill Jessica Jones Jones that was a purple man suggestion he went into a police precinct or police precinct the precinct and he got everybody to drop their weapons. This uh, this man is OP. I get that, but at the same time, that is crazy. I know. That is still insane. Just way, just way too OP. We, I can. I have the power of the writer. <laughs> not not necessarily. Yes, not, not, necessarily not, not necessarily the writer, but the but the, the power of suggestion. Hey, you stop talking. Ah, mm. mm. oh, see, so you have the same power as Kilgrave. <laughs> it's my pick. <laughs> but Kilgrave is Kilgrave is all he's made he, like and in the comics he's made worse stuff than that happened. I don't know. Uh, well, like rape. <laughs> I mean, the seventies was a weird time. I guess. It, and that's why that's why I said it's controversial. That's why I said this. List, this this list is controversial. No, it's why controversial I, because you're picking Calendar Man. <laughs> it's a Calendar Man. What if I gave you like a amazing reason for Calendar Man? I would still not believe you <laughs> because it's Calendar Man. Name one notable thing he could ever do. You're right. No, I, I, I'm not. But 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 like, how do you how are you a supervillain? But you can only work on certain days. <laughs> it's like, well, there's nothing. Oh, nothing happened this Tuesdays. But uh, three Thursdays from now, I could uh, you know blow up the twenty. It's the twentieth anniversary of the uh, cement factory. You, you know, blow that up. You know what? You know what? You know what? He has the power of planning. He has the power of planning. So does Batman. <laughs> no, but he. But his main power is planning. What is polka so, dot? What is polka dot man's power? Yeah, I thought so. Your shirt. I thought so. <laughs> I thought, this is tie-dye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, that wraps it up for, my, for our list. Uh, what are, who are your top villains in the comment section down below? List them. List them. Yeah, list them down below. Uh, it can be top five, top ten, whatever. No, just please top five. I'm not reading all of that. Um, I will. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't troll my comment section. I will. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You'll be seeing from King Cat Thirty Nine. Oh my God! And so, for for Vance Apollo Productions, it has been King Kai Thirty Nine. Thank you for joining me on these two videos, and I will see you next time.